we live? Are we live? Oh my god, are we live? <gasps> Do you know what? My I don't know, my heart is beating so fast right now. If you are here live, thank you so much for your time. Let me know if you can properly hear and see me. This is the first time I have scheduled a YouTube live than actually gone live. So you would really help me out. The people that are here right now, can you hear me and can you see me? Because I've also plugged in my um blue snowball mic. This is a USB mic and I've plugged it into my computer. So do let me know if the sound is nice and crisp. If you can hear me like this um, in the chat, that'll be really helpful. Right, today we are going to talk about shocking YouTube tips for beginners, what they never tell you. My name is Vina V and I make video easy so you can focus on your purpose, passion and actually making a profit. A lot of people will say, yeah, do this and that on social media and YouTube. But if you're not making money from your passion or if you're just not making money in general, like we need to survive. And this is what I've made it my mission to do is just to help you make money from your passion and most importantly, get confident, feel empowered. And this is what this brand new show is all about. It's called Move forward Monday. So every single Monday at 6pm uh, BST, I'm going to be here with you every Monday live with this Move Forward Monday show. And in these Monday live streams, we are going to be talking everything YouTube for beginners, video tips, confidence building, any questions you have, I am here to answer them. And my number one mission and purpose of Move Forward Mondays is to get you taking action. I want you, after these live streams every Monday, to think, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? I, I want to get on YouTube. I want to start an Instagram. I want to do this. I want to do what Vina does, and I want to go live. Um, so yeah, this is this is my mission and my purpose for today and every single Monday. If you're here, can you please comment? Because I'm a little bit worried that nobody can hear me and no one can actually see me. Because I can see there's some people here. So you would really help me out if you could chat. Do a little hey in the chat box so I can see. I'm going to carry on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you, technical nosy says hi. Right, I know it's working then because someone's just said hi. Let's get into this. Yes, there we go. D D um Hart, have I said that name right? Uh, says hey, I can hear you loud and clear. K says hey, great. Let's get ready to go. Then my beautiful happiness hustlers. Right. So today we are going to be talking about. Do you know what? If I get if I do this. I'm not being disgusting. It's so hot in the UK. We are not used to this heat. I should have really got a towel because I can feel my... <laughs> I can feel I'm sweaty already. Woo. Okay. Today we are talking about the YouTube tips that nobody tells you. Now, I have been on YouTube for a while. And let me tell you this. There is no such thing as overnight success. I know you might see someone on YouTube and you're like, what? They've only had their channel for two months and they've got millions of views, loads of subscribers. They're making money. They're getting brand deals. But let me tell you from the start, that's the unicorns, I call them. Yes, things like that do happen, but they are the unicorns and it might happen to one person in a million, okay? So the first thing I really want to emphasize, when you start your YouTube channel, when you're growing your YouTube channel, there is no such thing as overnight success. And I want to talk about Logan Paul, okay? I know some of you might be rolling your eyes and be like, ah, some of you might be um, like how I was even two, three years ago. I didn't even know who Logan Paul was. So Logan Paul is one of the, the kind of biggest YouTubers. Well, he had the fastest. I don't know if he's still got the record for this. I'm sure he, he does. But he was the person that had the fastest growing YouTube channel to, a, I think it was a million subscribers. So he grew his channel extremely fast. OK, but what a, pe a lot of people don't know is even though it seemed like he was an overnight success, he really wasn't. OK, he really wasn't. 
he started, so I think now he's about 23, in his early 20s. He started YouTube at the age of 10. Yeah, he started his YouTube channel at the age of 10. He was uploading videos with him and his brother, didn't get much traction. Then as he got older, he, want, he went on to a platform. Hold on, I'm just uh, make sure I'm nice framing here. Um, he went onto a social media platform called Vine. That's where he amassed a really big following. And then when Vine ended, that app got deleted. Then he moved over to YouTube. But you need to remember two things here. For him to have this really fast growing YouTube channel, number one, he already had a following, okay? This is why I'm talking to you about overnight success right now. Number one, he already had a following from Vine. But number two, he had so much experience. He had been making YouTube videos since the age of 10. So when he became really big on YouTube, that was about nine years, nine years of experience. So Logan Paul and any other YouTuber that you see, they're not overnight successes. Sorry, I know my tone of voice went a bit like, yeah, no, no. But when I go off on a rant a bit, I just get really passionate. <laughs> but that's the first thing I want you to know. Um, John says, hey, from New Zealand. Debbie is here. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, so this that's the first thing I want you to know, okay, is that there is no such thing as an overnight success. You've got to put the work in. Third thing, by the way. So number one, he already had a following. Number two, he had a heck of a load of experience, ne nearly a decade's worth. Number three, he went in hard. He treated YouTube like a business. He was uploading videos every single day. He was taking time to perfect his thumbnail strategy. His thumbnails, I haven't watched Logan Paul for a very long time, but when I was seeing his videos, his thumbnails were on point. When you're starting a YouTube channel, I myself need to do a lot of work, I feel, on my uh, thumbnails. I'm always trying different thumbnails to see what catches people's eye. I always look at what videos of mine have done really well, and then I say, oh, hold on, is there a, a commonality between the videos I've done really well, what do the thumbnails look like? Is it a really nice, large, eye-catching thumbnail of whatever the video is about? I tend to put my face in a lot of um, the videos, especially tutorials, because I feel that when I put my face in it and I'm, you know, showing whatever the tutorial is, those videos tend to get more of a click-through rate and tend to get more views um, as well. Um, Durga Marta says, hello, I've been watching this on my phone, but no chat facility there. The laptop just took ages. Oh, no, I hope everyone else is having, not having issues and you can chat and see this properly. It's not like pixelated or anything either. Uh, Kay says, really great to put Logan's success into perspective. Yeah. And this is the thing. This is and I've worked with thousands of clients, all business owners, and they will always be like, oh, Vina, like this person grew really fast on YouTube, or I know someone that, you know, they're making uh, sales, they've got loads of customers already through their social media. And I'm like, but everyone has a backstory that you don't know about. Some people will openly tell it to you and some people don't. With Logan Paul, I had to properly do my research to find out what age he was when he uploaded videos. I didn't know anything about his Vine history. So I looked into what was Vine. I think I'm a bit too old for that app, um, but I, I, I was never a user of Vine. So I had to look at what that was. And when I look at Vine and apps like that and TikTok, it's a skill. I am currently building uh, my uh, presence up on TikTok. And TikTok is completely different to YouTube. Completely. Here, we can have a lovely chat. I can give you loads of value in 5, 10, 50, however long we're going to stay here today. YouTube is uh, between 15 seconds and one minute videos. So my content, when you go and follow me on there, oh, 
actually. Let me do a little bit of a self plug in the chat right now. I will put my username. So it's the Ina V on TikTok. Go and follow me over on TikTok and um, you will see that my content is I'm still giving video tips, confidence building, uh, YouTube growth tips for beginners, but the pace of the content, the style is slightly, it's not slightly, it is different. <laughs> it's different to YouTube. And this is why you've got to adapt. You've got to adapt to different platforms. You've, again, it's all experience. Never feel that you're wasting your time with video because every single video you make, you are getting more experienced. You are getting more confident. And even for me, like, no joke, I was sat here, it was quarter to six, and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go live. Is it going to be okay? Is my mic going to work? My heart, just before I pressed live, my heart was beating so, so fast. I still need to sort out my background, like, what's going on here? But I said this in the video last week. I said, perfection kills productivity. If I was sat here trying to make this video perfect, I would, we wouldn't be here with each other right now. And I want you to take that and put it into your own life. What are the things in your life? What are the things with your YouTube channel, with getting on social media that you keep making excuses for? Are you saying, oh, I've just got to wait for my microphone? Oh, I've just got to wait, wait to get a DSLR camera. Oh, do you know, I've just got to wait until I move next year. And then I'm, no, it's all excuses. You can start a YouTube channel from your phone. You don't need a mic. You don't need a fancy camera. You just need to start. There is no point watching loads of videos about how to get more subscribers when you haven't even started your channel. And I know that sounds a bit harsh, but it's true. <laughs> but it's true. You need to start with the basics. And it's that whole phrase of, um, uh, it was that whole phrase of what, what do people say? Like, crawl before you can walk. Have I said that right? <laughs> crawl before you can walk and walk before you can run. There is so much merit in that quote. If it's a real quote, I don't know if I just made that up, but it sounds good. You've got to start with the basics, okay? So, what they never tell you about a YouTube channel is all this overnight success. It doesn't exist. Number two, focus on watch time rather than getting subscribers and getting views. Now, what is watch time? Hey, Jean, how are you doing? I hope you're well. What, what is watch time? Watch time is the amount of time that someone watches your video. Now, why is this more important than subscribers and views? YouTube favors videos that people are watching for longer. This one thing may change the way you do YouTube videos from now on. Remember, YouTube is a business, okay? They are a business. I'm sorry for keep on touching my hair, but I am getting a bit sweaty here. Um, YouTube is a business. So they want to keep you, they want to keep me on YouTube for as long as as possible. The more people that they've got on YouTube, the more their advertisers are going to pay them for their YouTube ads. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? So this is why YouTube will favor people that are putting out quality content, good content, keeping people engaged, keeping people on the YouTube platform for longer. This is, hey Vincent, how are you? This is why it's so important to practice, practice, practice. My first ever YouTube video was horrendous. It was awful. It is embarrassing. I'm sat on the floor. It's completely dark. It's the camera isn't even in focus. I don't know, even know what I'm saying. I'm literally talking like this and I'm saying, ah, this is my YouTube. Like, it's, that's not even an exaggeration. It is horrible. But imagine if I never done that video. <laughs> just, just imagine if I never made that video, okay? 
But the point is, you've got to upload videos to in, improve your watch time, because you as a presenter only gets better the more you present. And this is a, a something that they never tell you either. Once you've made a YouTube video and it's up on YouTube, make sure you watch it back even if it's in a week, two weeks down the road, because sometimes when you first release a video, you, you're still kind of in the mind of that video because it may have consumed a whole day um, of your life, maybe filming, editing, uploading, doing the thumbnail, making sure you're putting title, tags, keywords in the description as well, all that nice stuff. So I would advise you come back in a week's time and watch that video and get a pen and a paper and actually be critical with yourself. What could you improve on? And what did you do well? And you want to make sure that every video you do, you're learning. That's how you're going to increase. That's how you're going to improve your watch time. Okay. It's by making a video. It's not by talking about it. It's by taking action, making the video, and then uh, uploading it to YouTube. That's very important. And then a week later, watch it and do your analysis. This is my, my, what do I call this? My biggest piece of advice for how you can become a better presenter, how you can inevitably, inevitably <laughs> get more subscribers and get more views, all that stuff that you want to do. That's how you grow on YouTube. It's being a good communicator, being engaging, being a great presenter. And back in the day, I used to be a radio presenter. Now, when I first started in the radio industry, it was daunting because everyone else was so slick. They were, I was like, wow, these people are amazing. Like, how are they making these really cool links in between? Oh, that was a great song by Beyonce on. I was like, wow. What, what did I do? I threw myself in and I would listen to the radio, but I wouldn't listen to the music. I would listen to them talking. So the links in between the different songs and I would study. I would study what the presenters are saying. I would study what makes a good presenter. I would look at all the figures for radio shows and say, see whose um, show is doing the best. And I would study those presenters. There's probably loads of things I do now when I present that I learned from like 15 years ago. So I advise, why am I telling you the story? I advise that you do the same. You look at your favorite people on YouTube. You look at people within your niche, people that are doing well, and you see how they're presenting their videos and write it down. How do they start a video? What do they do in the middle? Do they do anything slightly quirky, a bit different? Do they do anything better than other people? How do they end their video? Do they have a clear call to action? Okay. Um, and that's how I improved my own YouTube videos because, oh my God, my YouTube intros used to be so long. If you go on my channel about three, four years ago, my intro was probably like, I don't know, a minute, <laughs> a minute long. And then I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, da -da 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 -da. it will be three minutes into the video. I haven't even given anyone any value yet. I haven't given anyone any value. I was just talking nonsense. So, oh, and that's another power tip for you, by the way. What they never tell you as well is start your videos. Bang. What are you teaching someone in the video? If you're teaching people how to make a cake, you start recording. Today, I am going to tell you how to make the best ever cake recipe. It's going to be delicious. And we're going to do it in four easy steps done. You're in your video already. That took me, what, five seconds to say that? People know that this video is going to be easy. It's, it's uh, And I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide. They know what the video is about. It was only five seconds. You don't have to, you know, spend two, three minutes on your intro. And that's the biggest thing I learned from watching other YouTubers. I thought, hold on, they're getting into their content really, really quickly. Live streams are slightly different, especially my 
this first one I've done because I was really scared and I needed to check that the sound and camera was working. But next time we're here, make sure you come back next Monday because we're here every Monday, brand new show, Move Forward Monday. Subscribe if you haven't done so already because this is the place where we are going to talk everything YouTube and video related. I'm going to build up your confidence, empower you and elevate you to share your message to the world because you are talented and the world deserves to hear your message and you and you deserve to be heard and make money and have a YouTube channel and be happy. That's the main thing. You deserve to be happy. Um, I'm going to read some of your chat in a minute if you've got any questions or you want to comment on anything we've talked about if you're struggling with anything please do write it in the chat and we will uh, I will talk I will talk to you <laughs> I will read those messages uh in a sec okay so right is that clear second thing we're gonna do is you're gonna from now on pinky promise where's get your pinky out no joke that's yay <laughs> um you are gonna focus on your watch time I want you for the next three months. Yeah, three months. I don't. I know it's hard not to look at your YouTube subscribers because every time we log in, it's there, just staring us in our face. But don't obsess over your views or over your subscribers. I want you to focus on being the best possible presenter. I want you to focus on improving your watch time because maybe some of you aren't monetized and you need 4,000 hours 4,000 hours of watch time to get monetized and over a thousand subscribers. Okay. So if you've been thinking, oh, do you know what? I've got over a thousand subscribers, but like, what, why, what's going on? Why am I, why are YouTube not paying me? And it's because you've got to improve on your presenting. Okay. I think the camera might be shaking because I keep hitting every time I'm making a point, I'm like, hey, get down with passion. Um, okay. Right, before we get on, I've got lots more tips on the way. These are the shocking YouTube tips for beginners, what they never tell you. And I I highly advise, <laughs> I highly suggest um, you share this video out to people. If you know someone that's starting a YouTube channel, if you know a business owner that needs to get on YouTube, please share this video with them because they really need to watch this before they get caught up in the numbers game of YouTube. And you know, everyone's chasing and craving to get loads of subscribers without looking what's important. And remember, YouTube doesn't pay you if you're just concerned about money. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. We've all got to get our milk and bread at the end of the day. But YouTube doesn't pay you for the amount of subscribers. It's the amount of views you get. And it's then it's the amount of people that are clicking on the ads before they even watch your video as well. Um, right. Uh, do, do, do. Let's take some of your questions and then we'll get into more tips. And like I said, please do share this out. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because we're here every Monday with Move Forward Monday live, brand new show on this channel. Okay, so Kay says... Uh, simplistic motivation says hey every uh, hey everyone vincent says uh, golden bird says hi dear vincent says youtube changed its layout and i can't find the tags feature when you upload your vid can i do screen share on this i don't think i can actually um when you upload your video vincent it will be i think it says advanced settings or more settings it's now a drop down it doesn't come up straight away so you type in your description and then another box comes up and i can't remember the name of it but it says like additional settings or advanced settings something like that click on it and that's where you put in your tags kay says how do you deal with imposter sim syndrome like when like when you've got great advice to give because you're not super successful I just bang my tape it again. K. K. Everybody can learn from you. You've only got to be a few steps ahead of someone to give advice. Um, hello. K. I'm the prime example. I haven't got a hundred thousand subscribers. I haven't got fifty thousand subscribers. I've just kind of restarted my YouTube channel recently. But I know I've got advice to give. I know that I'm good at encouraging and motivating people. I don't know why people, you know, I gravitate to doing that. But 
that's one of my skills. It's one of my skills to work with business owners who are so unconfident and I help them start their YouTube channel. Am I this amazing golden star YouTube expert? No, but I really think I'm a great mentor for business owners and people that want to create a brand and that want to get started on YouTube. So it's it's finding your strength. It's finding, okay, do you know what? I'm you know, I, I'm not a millionaire, but I can give freaking great advice to people. If you've been on YouTube for two months and you've uploaded, I don't know, 20 videos, guess what? You can actually give some kind of advice because you're 20 videos ahead of someone that hasn't even started their channel yet. So K, please believe in yourself. And do you know what? I need, I need to say this because I feel that so many people in life look at other people and then that puts them off going for their dreams. And don't do it. And that quote is, I don't agree with many quotes, but that quote is so true. Comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare yourself to others. Again, take me as an example. Imagine if I was like, oh, do you know what? There's so many other channels on YouTube that are helping smaller content create creators. Like, oh, I'm not going to do it. Like, whose life are you living? You're living your life. You're not living someone else's life. You've got to do what makes you happy. And again, the whole point of this live stream, we're 100% honest and raw today. Well, we always are, but even more so today. Yeah, you probably will get comments from people that like, oh, why are you giving advice? I've got comments like that before. Go, oh, why are you giving advice on YouTube? And I'm like, uh, because I've got an experience. And also, I was a presenter. I worked in the media for 10 years. So I might not be able to give you the advice of how to get to 100,000 subscribers, because I haven't done it yet. But I can give you advice on how to be a good presenter, how to find people to interview, how to interview a celebrity. I've done all of that. So I can give actually, do you know what, everyone who's watching this video right now, or who's watching this on the replay, I want you to write down, make a list of all the things that you can give advice on. And I mean anything. If you know how to bake a cake, I want you to write that down. If you know how to use Twitter, I want you to write write everything down. And then I want you to, to write down, okay, from that list, I want you to pick out certain things of what is your YouTube channel going to be about? Or if you've already got a channel, what what did you just write on that list that you can now implement into your own channel? Okay, I really hope that helped. Um, do, 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 do. Read, love, listen, says she feels the same way as Kay. I'll start to film. I have even filmed, but don't upload because even though I'm qualified, I don't feel qualified. Read, love, listen, I bet you're more than qualified than some people on YouTube. Yeah? You've got to go for it. You know, the people in life that seem super successful and have got the money and have got, it seems like they're really happy and all of that. A lot of them aren't more talented than you. It's because they just keep going. It's because they've overcome that fear of imposter syndrome. There are so, trust me, there are so many people on YouTube giving advice, and it's all great advice, by the way but they are probably less qualified than somebody that's not paying them. Do you know what? This all comes down to putting yourself out there. It all comes down to how much are you fearing what other people think? And I've gone through that myself, but I've got to the stage where I don't care. <laughs> I have been rejected thousands of times. I have had mean comments in the past, but I always come down to the core of why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Whose life are you living? Yeah, I want to do this because I love making videos. I want to do this. This helps my business. It helps me get clients. I help people in return. I'm practicing by doing this YouTube live stream right now. Yeah, so you really need to write down what is your purpose? Because once you, I call it the multi-purpose approach. Once you have, it's like a ball of all your purposes in a ball, yeah? When you do get, and we, this happens to all of us, when someone does say something a bit like, oh, shouldn't have said that, then 
you're going to be like, that wasn't very nice, but you're going to keep going because you're not going to care what they say. I'm going to stop talking because I feel like crying right now. <laughs> Let's move on to another question. Let me have a sip of my water. I think I'm really hot as well. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Do you know what? I really, I'm such an emotional person. So right then I felt it. I felt that K and Reed Loveless and I thought, no, I'm not having any of this, ladies. And I really, I know there's guys here as well, but ladies, please step up. Yeah? You have the right to be seen and heard, okay? I'm not going to get into um, what I'm thinking in my head right now. Maybe that's <laughs> from a pre-recorded video in case I do cry. Um, okay, en Anissa, Anissa? I'm really sorry if I'm saying people's channel names wrong. Anissa TV says, I'm struggling with editing, Vina. Due to this, I don't have a thumbnail. What do you... Do you oh, God, I just lost your questions. Um, do you mean... You're struggling with editing the thumbnail. Easy solution for, for you. Go to Canva. Canva has pre-made templates on your YouTube thumbnails. I do. Any thumbnail you see from me has been done in Canva. I find it so easy to do. Try Canva. Failing that, pay someone on Fiverr uh, $5 to do a, um, a YouTube thumbnail for you. And then why don't you strike up some kind of deal with them? If you're really happy with their um, thumbnail, like have a little package that you're going to say, look, I'm going to pay you $20 a month for this many thumbnails or get the template they use, get them to send it to you. And then you can make your, uh, excuse me, your thumbnails from that template. Uh, Techno Salad, oh, that's a nice name, says, hi, Vina, which one is the best social media platform for promoting uh, YouTube videos, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest? I have no clue about Pinterest. I set up an account on there years ago, never used it. <sighs> Do you know what I've been noticing more and more of is that you've got to treat these social media platforms as their own entity. I have tried really hard in the past to put my links to my YouTube videos on Facebook, and it never seems to get any kind of traction. That's my, um, what's happened to me, it might be different for other people. What I would do though, so for example, before I did this live stream today, I did go live on Instagram, I did go live on TikTok. First I'm going live on TikTok. I went live on my Facebook personal profile, and I think my Facebook business page. And for some reason, I've noticed when I go live, and then when I put the link to my YouTube channel, I got a little bit more interaction and engagement that way. So maybe try going live and then putting the link in. But again, try and treat these social media platforms differently. Instagram stories is great, by the way. Anytime I've got a new um, video, anytime I... Again, I, when I, I was going live on here, I received messages from people going, yeah, Vina, I tune in. So Instagram stories has worked great for me. So do try that out as well. Techno says, today you looking beautiful. That's very sweet, even though my face is probably sweating. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please make sure you do. I've got loads more tips for you on the way and I'm gonna be answering more of your chat questions as well. Share this video out. If you know a business owner, if you know someone that wants to start a YouTube channel, this is going to be so great for them. Every single Monday, we are going to be here live doing Move Forward Monday. So do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, doo -doo -doo. Should what? Okay, so D says, how do you decide... On a channel theme topic, should one prioritize searchable content or only follow your personal passions in life or marry these two together? I would say um, you can marry those two together because whatever your passion is, you can make searchable content about your passion. So if your passion is, I know I keep using the baking, but I'm really craving a cake right now. <laughs> if your passion is baking, Freaking heck, you can do a lot of searchable content for those types of videos. So you can definitely do searchable content on your passion. I hope that's helped. What I would say, and it's actually one of my um, points today, when you are starting a YouTube channel, don't niche down. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I said the D word. I said, don't 
niche down. And why I say that when you're starting is because so many of us are multi-passionate. We've got so many different things we want to do. Like, oh my God, the amount of YouTube channels I've wanted to start, because I'm like, oh my God, but I love this. And now I'm really into DIY. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to start a DIY channel. Oh my God, I'm going to do that. But in reality, it is hard to have multiple YouTube channels. Trust me, because I've tried it. This is why I'm dedicating so much energy to this channel first. And then I'm going to go back and revive my other channels, which have been sat there, bless them. And I haven't uploaded on them for years. So start with one channel. Do all the different types of content. If you're thinking, uh, this doesn't make sense, what she's saying. Do all the different types of content you want to do. Then, in a month's time, look back at the videos that have done the best. Look back and think to yourself, what videos did I have the most fun doing? What videos was I mo my most alive and happiness levels were like, yeah, 10 out of 10. Then you can decide what your YouTube channel is going to be about. On this channel, I have changed the... Um, the way I do things like so often, it started off as a random channel. I was just doing vlogs. I was doing things like how to be a good boyfriend um, and random things like that. Then I transitioned into giving advice to new presenters. So people that wanted to get into the media industry, I was giving a lot of radio tips and interviewing a lot of people in the radio world. Then how it all changes, I uploaded a video, um, it was a review of a camera. And that's when I thought, hold on for a second, <laughs> there is a niche here. Why are loads of people subscribing to me? Like, no joke, hundreds and hundreds of people subscribed to me from this one video. And this is when YouTube was still, you know, fairly like, it wasn't a thing to have a YouTube channel. Um, and I just thought, this is really weird. I actually thought it was weird people subscribing. I thought, well, I don't, why are they subscribing? This is, straight, I'm just making the video for fun. Um, uh, okay, I'm just doing a, a call. Okay, I'm just doing a live video. Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. Um, that was my child, by the way. Oh, I've lost my trailer thought now. What was I saying? Um, wait, that's, the, that's what I had to think what it was then. The, um, yeah, so when you're first starting your YouTube channel, you don't need a niche, okay? Just try out lots of different content. Then in a month, two months, three months time, see what's working the best for you, okay? Um, I was gonna talk to my son then, but then I thought, oh, hold on, I'm still, I'm still live on here. Oh, wow, I'm getting hot. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, do, I really hope I'm saying your name right. I apologize if I'm not Durga Marta. Durga Marta, am I saying that right? Um, I want to make my YouTube channel much tighter and more professional. So happy to find this Monday tip. Simon uh, suggested I link up. Oh, bless Simon. I interviewed Simon. Oh, God, I think it was a few years ago. Tell him I said a big thank you and hello to him. And if you want a full masterclass, like you sit down for an hour and you understand the true benefits of growing on YouTube and you want to know how I went from zero to 10,000 subscribers, sign up for my absolutely free masterclass. Go to 10kyourway.com. OK, the link should be below this video. I'll also write it. Hold on. Can I put links in here? I don't know if that works. I've also put it in the chat, okay? 10kyourway.com. Golden Bird says, you encourage me. Thanks a lot, Vina. Love you a lot. Oh, I love you too, Golden Bird. The Who's Who, oh, I like that name. The, the Who's Who of gaming says, hey, hey, everyone. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, says, thank you so much, Vina. This has really helped me. Yay! Um, right. Uh, Read, love, listen says, is it by, uh, best to film in the daylight or use a ring light? I am a big fan, a big fan of natural lighting. So right now, actually, let me show you. Um, okay. So can you see? I'm literally just using this. The light, the light from my window. Oh, the light from my window. Hold on one second. Let me, while I put you back on. 
there we go there we go um i'm just using natural natural lighting however when it gets a bit dark and it sometimes just gets dark randomly here in the UK, we have a lot of rain and a lot of dark clouds. I do have a soft box light. Um, but yeah, do you know what? I would I would invest in lighting because you might want to do a video when it's a bit dark at night and you definitely need lighting for that. But to be honest, a lot of my videos, I just film with natural lighting. I just prefer having the natural light. I just think it looks a bit more natural. That wasn't even funny. That was silly. Um, hey, Carissa. Good to see you as well. Um, how can I increase my views? I've got lots of videos on this channel about how to increase your views. But one of my tips and in theme with today's live stream about what they don't tell you before starting your channel is that focus on searchable content. If you want to be bringing in more views to your channel, do searchable content. A few months ago, I uploaded a video about Zoom and it was a just a, a beginner's guide to how to do a Zoom call, how to use Zoom conferencing. And why that video did well, I think it's got about 60,000 views or something. It brought in about, a um, how much? I think it brought in 1,400 subscribers to my channel from that one video. And the reason it did well is because I spent time doing research, I looked at all the other videos that were already on YouTube about Zoom. This is a great point here, by the way, don't let that put you off. If there is loads of videos on a certain topic, do your research, see how you can be different, see how you can do better, look at the title you can give it. There's always a way for you to break through on YouTube. It only takes one video to explode your channel. So don't give up. You've got to keep going, okay? So do that searchable content, do your research, and it will pay off. Sometimes I sit there and I think, oh, this has taken me so long. I'm doing so much research. I've got my little spreadsheet out. I'm looking at other people's thumbnails. How can my thumbnail stand out in search? But trust me, when you put that effort in, you get the results back, okay? And remember, it takes time. You might do 10 videos like that, and then it's the 11th one that really kicks off for you as well. Um, oh, do you know what? There's lots of questions here. I'm gonna try and read some more um, a bit. I think the chat, do you know what? I think the chat, after I've made this video live on my YouTube channel, the chat stays there, I think. So what I might do is comment back but it'll be in the comment section of the the video that goes up after if that, that that makes any sense if you've just joined us if you have not subscribed yet please make sure you do and go and sign up for your absolutely free youtube masterclass how to get to 10,000 subscribers the link should be below this video go to 10kyourway.com and i've also written it in the chat i can i don't know if i can pin that actually i oh, know i can't pin it Right. Before we go today, there's a few other things I wanted to say to you. And I really want to get this in this video, because if you are brand new to YouTube and you're watching this, I really want you to understand. And I want to get all these points in. I want you to value every single subscriber, every single subscriber. I want you to value them. Too often. I hear people going, ah, I've only got 100 subscribers. And I look at them, I'm like, mate, don't use the word only. Imagine 100 people in a room. Would you ignore those 100 people? No, I sure wouldn't. <laughs> if 100 people in front of me took the time to subscribe to my channel, took the time to watch one of my videos, I'm not going to ignore them. Nurture your current subscribers, rather than begging and chasing new ones, nurture your current subscribers, value them. I want to see comments from you to your subscribers. If someone's commented on your video, even if they say, hi, I want you to reply back to them and say, hey, how are you? Did you find this video helpful? Engage people in conversations. If any of you have ever commented on one of my videos, I'll always comment back and I'll ask you a question. I will always be like, oh, are there any other YouTube tips you need? Are you struggling with anything at the moment? How was your day? Always be nurturing that conversation with your current subscribers. 
Um, we've talked about the whole niche situation. Keep going. This is going to be hard. I'm all about positivity, but I'm all about realistic positivity as well. It's going to be hard, but it's doable. It's possible. And you will get the rewards. Okay? But you've got to keep going. I get so upset when I see people giving up because I'm just like, oh, you don't know what's there. YouTube is such an amazing platform. There's so much opportunity. There's so much abundance for all of us. Every single person here on this live stream right now, there is so much abundance for you on YouTube. That's not a joke. That's not just me saying, oh, yes, there's so much. Th no, it's, it's the truth. It's the law of the world. <laughs> It's the law of the universe. There is enough for everyone, okay? So keep going. It will be hard, but keep going no matter what, okay? And I want you to remember, if there's only one thing you remember from, from today, I want you to remember this. Sorry, I, I thought there was a, I keep on going with this because I think there's a spider on me, isn't it? Um, one video has the potential to change your YouTube channel. One video has the potential to explode your YouTube channel, okay? And what do I mean by that? You may have uploaded 99 videos and you're like, God damn it, damn it. What is going on with my channel? I don't know what kind of accent this is. But you're going to feel like giving up. You're going to think, freaking out, I put a lot of work into this. But do you know what? It could be that 100th hundred, video the 100th video, that literally changes your life. I'm not exaggerating. Even that Zoom video I did a few months ago, it's really kick-started my YouTube channel again. I keep on having breaks from this channel because my personal circumstances, it's hard. I really struggle with being a single mom. Like me and my son have been through so many different challenges and trauma. It's even a miracle that I'm like here now doing this live video but I keep going and you need to keep going as well because you do not know what's around the corner for you, okay? You do not know, especially with YouTube, it's the only platform that will work for you in the background, but you've got to put that time and effort into your videos in the first place. And we did touch on this before. The last thing I want to say is about searchable, I'm so sweating, uh, searchable, searchable content. Focus on your research. It's boring. You will probably get bored by it. Not all of you. Some of you will. Even I'm like, oh, sometimes, sometimes I, I love it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to find some new ideas. But sometimes it does take time. But remember, again, put the effort in. Yeah, put the effort in. Why would you not want to put the effort in? That's my question to you. Why would you not, why would you want to do something half-heartedly? Put your all into everything you do. Right now, I'm not focusing on anything else. I'm not focused on what I'm doing tomorrow, what happened yesterday, what happened in my past life a few years ago. I'm focusing on you and I'm focusing on this live stream. So every video you do, put your all into it and focus on on it. If you've not subscribed yet, make sure you do and sign up for your free training to get to 10,000 subscribers. Go to 10kyourway.com. Um, Aza92 vlog says, hi. Oh, by the way, if you've just joined, put a hello in the chat. And like I said, I'm here every single Monday now. I can't wait to get to know all of you so much more better. I feel so because I haven't uploaded on social media for months, um, I feel so disconnected with like what is going on. So I'm so happy to reconnect with you again. And um, sh shall I try and go through some more of your questions now? A few more minutes? Shall we go for a few more minutes? Um, please do share this video out. It'll really help me share it to one person. If you know a business owner that wants to start on YouTube, they want to get visible, they just need someone to push them, um, send them over to my my channel over here. Uh, Aza ninety two vlog says, "Hey from the Philippines, hello." Um, always get don't do. <laughs> it's just, it's right. You guys, some of your usernames, I love them so much. <laughs> do Donuts worry says, "Always get a positive vibe from your videos." Thanks, Vida. Ah, oh, that's so. 
do not do not worry I don't think I've ever seen you comment before so thank you so much for commenting and I'm gonna say again to you this before I melt and before my anyway I won't go into detail about my sweating <laughs> how much I'm sweating I want to say to you that remember perfection kills productivity this video, this show, this brand new show, every Monday, 6pm, British summertime, on this Vina V YouTube channel, it's called Move Forward Monday, in a few months time, it's probably going to look completely different, or maybe it won't, <laughs> maybe it won't, but this is my first step, because I've wanted to do a live show for so long, and I was like, oh, Again, it's looking at other people thinking, oh, their setup looks so cool. They've got a different camera. They've got all this cool lighting behind them. And then last week, I just thought, oh, I just want to do my live show. I want to go in front of my stairs because there's some nice, good lighting here. And um, I just want to do this because I felt it in my heart. If you feel something in your heart and in your gut, you've got to go for it. There is no excuses, okay? And my whole point of telling you this story is that in a few months' time, maybe this will look completely different. But if I never started, if I never did this, this is not perfect to me, but perfection kills productivity. I would have never done this video. I would have never built up my own confidence because I'm not used to going live. I was so nervous before doing this today. You've just got to start. You've just got to start. Um, okay, let me take one more question. And I'm really sorry if I haven't read out everyone's. What I will do is I will, if you, this video is going to end shortly. So when we do finish, make sure you write your comment below. If you're watching this on the replay and freaking hell, if you have got to 50 minutes in this video, you are amazing. You are amazing. And I want you to write in the comments below, I am still here. <laughs> got to this point in the video, write in the comments below, I am still here. Um, Kay says, this was so encouraging. You're a blessing. Thank you. Oh, and I thank you to you. Um, okay. Is there any more questions? Different YouTube. The, okay. Let me do this last one. The Who's Who of Gaming says, should I choose a different YouTube channel name? It really depends. Is the Hughes Hue of gaming already a brand in itself? Have you built up a following on another platform? Do you have a following on YouTube already? You've got to feel, I feel this in life is that you can get advice from so many different people and everyone is going to give a different opinion. You need to go with what's in your heart. I I can give my advice, but I don't know anything about you or your channel. So I'm guessing your channel is about gaming. And I think the Who's Who sounds, it's, to me, it sounds like a cool standout name. But is it anything to do with your channel? Is it really random? You need to really think about, does it resonate with you and your brand? Or is it something that doesn't resonate with you? And remember, you can change your name. This channel wasn't always called my name. I think it was called, I don't know, I can't even remember. I've changed the name of this channel probably about five times. And then I thought, yeah, I think I'm just going to put my name now because I keep changing it. So um, you can just do your name. There's, do you know, there's so many different things you can do, but it's got to resonate with you. Right. If you've got to the end, you are freaking amazing. I love you so much. And I want to say this to you. There should be another video right here. That's a whole playlist on all the Move Forward Mondays we've ever done. They used to be pre-recorded. So go and watch them. It's all about motivation. So if you're really struggling at the moment, go and click on that playlist and binge that whole playlist of Move Forward Monday. Sign up to that free training, 10kyourway.com and take action today, not tomorrow. Because all we have is this present moment, okay? So focus on yourself, focus on being happy because you deserve so much success. I will see you next Monday at 6 p.m. right here on this Vina V YouTube channel. Bye. Love ya. Love ya. Love ya. Love ya. Oh, is it all? <laughs> it's ending.